Americans have been covering their fingers in orange Cheeto powder since 1948. And ever since then, this has become one of the most popular snacks around the world. Except in Germany, where a black market on Cheetos has been forced to be created. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. I am Donnie, and along with my wife, Aubrey, we are two Americans currently living in Germany and sharing all of our experiences living and traveling throughout Europe. Just a cheetah here, scouting out the Cheetos delivery route. In 1948, Charles Elmer Doolin, the creator of Fritos, created the first Cheeto in Texas, or as it formerly was known as, Chi. Toes. Until 1998 when they dropped the little hyphen and smushed the two parts together. This new snack started becoming popular locally, but Charles didn't have the ability to produce or distribute the snack for a nationwide rollout, so he reached out to Herman W. Lay, yes, that one, to help with the marketing and distribution. This ended up being a huge success and led to Doolin and Lay to combine their two companies in 1961 into the now famous Frito-Lay Inc. Four years later, and this company merged with Pepsi-Cola Company to form PepsiCo, and this led to Cheetos being further distributed widely outside of North America. So, what are Cheetos? Even though so many of us eat them, how many of us really know what a Cheeto is? Cheetos, although thought of as a cheesy snack, are surprisingly enough a corn puff and are comprised mainly of corn meal and water. Of course, they are covered in an orange powdery goodness that gives these corny snacks their distinctive cheddar cheesy flavor. Although the original Cheeto was the fried crunchy version, there are now dozens of different variations and flavors worldwide, like savory American cream in China, which did make me uncomfortable to say out loud, or strawberry Cheetos from the capital of strange snack flavors, Japan. Of course, it would be strange to mention flavors of Cheetos without mentioning the most iconic of them all, the Flaming Hot Cheetos. Whoa, deep in the fire here, there's Flaming Hot Cheetos. Which with Germany's spicy food tolerance being lower than their tolerance for small talk, it makes sense these aren't found in Germany. But what is Germany's Cheeto flavor contribution? Well, you can't get Cheetos in Germany. Okay, saying that you can't get Cheetos in Germany is a little bit misleading. Now, it is true you can't buy Cheetos in normal German grocery or convenience stores, but you can sometimes find this. In many German cities, you will find American import stores that specializes in importing American treats and snacks that you can't normally find through other German food channels. In these stores, you will be surrounded with some of the most iconic American brands, and they are all sitting on the shelf with their brand name showing just like you would expect them to be on US shelves. That is until you get to the chip section and you will often find this sketchy little number. I mean, how sketchy looking is that? This literally is how this product was sold at one of our local American import stores. Or if an import store doesn't do this whole little kidnapper duct tape number, you will see them slap a sticker over the brand name with a different name like Quesos. Now, if we open this up and pull one out, we will see that it looks just like a Cheeto and it smells just like a Cheeto and well, it tastes just like a Cheeto. And that of course is because these are legit Cheetos. So why Kezos? And more importantly, why the scary, sketchy, kidnapper, black market duct tape look over the name brand? By the way, the word for cheese in German is Kese. So I see what they are going for here with Kezos, but why aren't they just Cheetos? Hey guys, real quick, I wanna give a huge shout out to our patrons over on Patreon for supporting our channel. Over on our Patreon page, we'll give little life updates that we don't post anywhere else. And we'll also do monthly compilations of bloopers and behind the scenes that you will only see on Patreon. So if you wanna check that out, I will leave a link in the description to that. But also if you guys would just hit those like and subscribe buttons, that will be a huge support to our channel. But with that being said, 
Back to the video. We once did a taste test video on our channel where we took brand names like Oreos or Coca-Cola and put the American version and the German version side by side. We tasted them to see what the differences were in flavor because there are often ingredient differences between American and German versions of the same foods. Basically, there are certain ingredients that, for example, Americans are allowed to consume that Europe restricts putting into food. Things like titanium dioxide, potassium bromate, color dye yellow number five, number six, and red number 40. And my first thought was, are Cheetos banned because they have so many American chemicals in them that they aren't even allowed to be sold in Europe? And that this has created a black market for Cheetos where American import stores are sneaking them into the country and trying to hide them on their shelves? <sighs> I've arrived in France. I'm gonna go try to find out if I can get some legitimate Cheetos here, just across the border. Bonjour. All right guys, so I just literally popped into France right across the border to a core grocery store and boom, they do have legitimate Cheetos, branded Cheetos, and they had that variety, which is like the puffed variety. And then they also had one called Mix-Ups, which I guess is like a bunch of different like shapes from what it looks like, but they both say cheese flavored. And I opened up the Puffs Cheetos, and whenever I actually ate one, it tastes exactly like a Cheeto I would expect in the US when it's a puffed Cheeto. Really good and cheddary, puffy. Just go to France, right across the border, you can get Cheetos. So Cheetos are found in Europe and they aren't banned because of chemicals in them. Cheetos are actually sold in over 36 countries around the world, according to Wikipedia, which I find weird, by the way, that it says over 36 countries. Like, what is the number then? 37, 38? Why just over 36? So I actually reached out to Cheetos and asked them for a list of countries in which Cheetos are sold, but they never got back to me. But I digress. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of the ingredients were different between the American recipe and the European recipe though, because that just seems to be how things tend to go. But the important thing to me is that these are found in Europe even in countries that I can just drive 30 minutes to and get some. And in fact, PepsiCo even has a massive production plant in Thomas Chov Mazowiecki. Tomaszów Mazowiecki. In Poland, that produces a lot of Cheetos, and that country, of course, borders Germany to the east, yet Cheetos don't flow across that border either. 20 years after Charles Doolin created the first Cheeto in Texas, in Germany, the Von Opel family started making their first potato chips. The founders Carlo, Heinz, and Irmgard Von Opel took the first letters of their names and created their company name Chio. Since the 1960s, you have been able to find Chio products on the shelves of German grocery stores with one particular product of theirs being... I want you to try and guess how you pronounce this name right here. If you're saying Chitos or Chitos, then you're wrong because this is actually pronounced like Cheeto! On November 29th, 1979, Cheetos, but spelled this way, was registered and became a legally protected trademark in Germany. Today, the German snack company Intersnack Knabber Gebäck GmbH und Co. KG, who owns the brand Chio along with many others, will regularly hand out cease and desist letters to anybody who tries to sell the OG Cheetos anywhere inside of Germany because of a court in Hamburg ruled that they have the right to the name and if Cheetos were to sell in Germany, it would potentially cause confusion between the two brands as the pronunciation sounds the exact 
same. But this is where the plot thickens. I have searched in grocery stores across our area and online and cannot find a single bag of Cheetos being sold anywhere. In fact, when I even try and buy a bag on Germany's Amazon, amazon.de, and I search for Cheetos, I actually just get imported bags of American Cheetos in the results. I even went to Cheetos website to find out if they still exist and they have them listed as one of their current products. So I reached out to them as well, asking where I could get my hands on a bag and well, they also never got back to me. Hey guys, I am actually currently editing this video and after recording that clip, Chio did respond to my email where I asked where one could buy Cheetos. Basically, they told me that they couldn't give me specifics as to where their specific products are sold and the best thing for me to do is actually reach out to my local supermarkets myself and just ask them which Chio products they carry. However, they then also said that I could always buy any of their products from the comfort of my own home and they would ship it to me from their website. And they sent me a link, so I clicked on the link, went to the Chio section and scrolled through their products and I found that there is one product that is mysteriously missing and unavailable even on their website and that is Cheetos. So do these Cheetos even still exist in Germany? This has left some fairly unsavory reviews of Inner Snack Online and has created a black hole of Cheetos and Cheetos snacking in the world in one of the largest economies in the world. So yes, you can technically find Cheetos in Germany if you look in American import stores, but they will have their names covered up haphazardly with slapped on stickers to try and protect themselves from the lawsuits of a much larger and powerful corporation. But the German Cheetos blocking the American Cheetos from coming in seemingly are even more elusive to find in Germany. By the way, guys, this video was not sponsored by Cheetos or Chio or Frito-Lay or Quesos or any black duct tape companies. But to see who made it this far into the video, the random question of the week is... Board games or video games? Which do you prefer? Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons and we will see you in our next video. Okay. Black hole of Cheetos. <coughs> Flaming hot Cheetos to try and protect themselves from the large and try and we're going to start from the top because this isn't going well.